Good morning. Hi guys, it's Cindy from Life and Times with Cindy. Um, I'm whispering again because it is early morning. I don't even think it's 7 o'clock. Um, it's December 27th. I'm still at my mom's house. Um, we've had a great Christmas. Um, we've had a great after Christmas. I got to check off some things that I wanted to do. Um, today we are actually going to be check um, checking in on a family member who's in the hospital but we're also going to be seeing some of our family that we weren't able to see over Christmas and um, yeah and then we've got two more days here and then Marcus and I have New Year's Eve service and New Year's Day service so it's gonna be a busy weekend but I came on to say um, I think it's gonna be two parts but there's a chance that this might be a three-part Christmas special uh, because um, yeah we've done a lot of things over the Christmas holidays so you saw Christmas Day by now and then um, the next thing you're gonna see is a couple of days after Christmas my I don't know if you guys can hear my stomach is growling so I guess I need to eat something um, a couple of days after Christmas um, my mom, my sister, my nieces, and my nephew and I did a gingerbread house that my oldest daughter had brought down for us to do Christmas Day, but we just didn't have the time to do it. So she left it there for us to do. Um, she had brought one that had um, cookies so that the girls could decorate um, along with us doing the, the gingerbread house. And so we had a couple of mishaps. It actually took us three days to do this gingerbread house because one, um, some of the pieces didn't fit as well as we thought they would. It was one of the, one, the ones like I had had. Um, when Nikki and I did a gingerbread house and it had the little clips on it but the pieces just weren't like like a puzzle piece that just didn't go together that was the issue we were having um, the icing we were waiting in between for the icing to like really dry to keep the walls together And so we ended up working on it like over a three day period. And my sister finished it just before she went back to her boyfriend's place um, with the girls and my nephew because he is flying out this morning as a matter of fact. Um, he lives um, out of state. And so um, we did that. Uh, we sat around and talked and played with the girls. They played with their brand new toys. You got it. You got it. Okay, go go do the floor. Go back here. They knew that you feminists would get the fit. I'm just saying. Uh -uh. Boys need to learn how to clean up too. Yeah, do you dance, girl? Do you dance while you clean? That's what mommy does. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Then last night, um, my mom and Marcus and I, after everybody had left, none of us was in the frame of mind to cook um, and we didn't want leftovers so we ended up ordering Chinese mom food. live she can order Chinese food but they won't deliver it out to where she lives so we had to go get it and that was late last night um, so we got the Chinese food we came back and we ate that but while we were out 
I got to check off something on my Christmas wish list, which was to see some Christmas lights. So we drove down through Main Street. You guys have seen it by now. When I come home, I've shared Main Street where we live. So we drove down through Main Street and there were a few, a few stores that had Christmas things up. Um, some of the houses on Main Street had Christmas lights up. Um, we're hoping to maybe see some more Christmas lights. If people haven't taken them down, we're going to go to another neighborhood and um, see if they have Christmas lights up before I leave on Saturday morning. One other thing we had planned to do Christmas Day was my daughter had created a chocolate bar, but we never got around to drinking the hot chocolate, but she left the items here so that we could enjoy it over the week. Well, last night, finally, I had my first um, cup of hot chocolate. It was so good. I don't know why I waited so long to drink it. I think I'm gonna have another cup maybe this morning. My mom was like, you gonna drink that chocolate just before you go to bed? She says, that's not gonna keep you up. I was like, no, caffeine. I don't drink coffee and I drink the caffeinated tea most of the time. So caffeine doesn't really kick in and make me like awake and alert. Um, so I drank my cup of chocolate before I went to bed and I was fine. I slept, I slept this morning till about 4.35 o'clock is about six something now. By the time you watch this, it'll be, you know, it'll be, it It will have been a while. Um, I'm trying to keep my vlogs in order. So you'll probably see Christmas in February. <laughs> but um, I just uploaded my next to the last um, Alabama vlog. And soon my fall Thanksgiving, um, Fall Fest um, vlogs will go up and then you'll see Christmas. So like I said, you'll probably see these Christmas videos in February. I thought about maybe doing a special and putting it up in December, but I really want to keep them in order. So I hope you guys don't mind me doing it that way. I won't be coming to my mom's house in January because one, it's just too cold um, and at night is um, really dark and I don't want us driving at night and I don't want us driving um, with the deer and everything out because my mom literally lives like in the country and so um, we're probably not going to be coming in January and it's 
likelihood we may not be coming in February either. February is my husband's 60th birthday and I'm trying to plan something for his birthday. Um, the hard thing has been finding a place to hold it. Um, I want to invite a few family and friends. I don't want to like like a billion people but I would like to invite some people who are really important in his life to celebrate with us so I'm tr I'm just having a hard time finding a place for us to hold it so and we got a lot of stuff with church in January and February so I'm not trying to press myself to 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 do too much traveling then but um probably come spring and definitely my birthday I will be back again um because I like to celebrate my birthday here with my family we did like a little photo shoot with my nephew and the twins and my sister um with her fam with you know with her son and her daughter Have you got a pony, Dada? Mm -hmm. look at Cindy. Mm -hmm. oh, and we're hey, off come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. go take a picture say what? cheese Avalyn. look at the camera look at the camera cheese. put your pony down cheese, cheese. You gotta look the other okay, cheese, baby. say cheese <laughs> All right, Karee, go get in. Here, Ava, you can sit with Mommy. Okay. Take your daughter. Cheese. Cheese. And say cheese. Say cheese. cheese. Ah. Oh, I can't even see Karee. <laughs> All right. And then I read, that was another thing on my bucket list that I wanted to do. I wanted to read the girls a Christmas story. And right now they're really into Frozen. Um, it's not my favorite movie, but the girls love it. My One of my nieces, she sings Let It Go all day long. I think that's every generation, you know, ends up falling in love with the music from Frozen. So I read them a book. I read them a story from a Christmas book that I had gotten a few years ago. And I wanted to make that like a, a tradition that I do with the girls every year that I read them a story. And it was so cute. My sister set us in front of the Christmas tree. I was sitting in a rocking chair. It was the funniest thing because I had both of them in my lap and their heads were in the way. trying to see over their heads to read the book. My eyesight is already bad. So happy. Elsa worked and worked, and she kept thinking of new things to do to make Anna's Christmas even more perfect. She drew frost snowflakes on window planes. She hired musicians to play Christmas carols throughout the castle. She hung evergreen wreaths on every door. Soon a cheery fire burned in every fireplace in the castle. There were piles of treats on every table. The entire castle glittered with decorations, ice sculptures, and tinsel. Um, but it was fun. And they actually sat there the whole time and listened to the whole story. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's it's been a great Christmas week. Um, I kind of went back and forth whether or not I was going to stay the whole week, but now I'm kind of glad I am. Um, tomorrow, my oldest daughter finally leaves for her trip to Chicago. And so my mom, she's actually going to come back here. And my mom and I are going to take her to the airport because it's about 45 minutes from my mom's house, the airport that she's going to be flying out of. And we're still trying to figure out how to get her back home when she comes back. She's only going to be gone for the weekend. Um, she's going to visit her girlfriend. That's her been her high school best friend. <laughs> Thank you.
she she picked up Alex here. Yeah. This is where she dropped him off too, right? Yeah. Look at that, we're going around. I can navigate to the airport. And then when you go, when I kind of pick you, you gonna up, be I at the go bottom. to the right. Yes. Okay. You got it together. Finally. <laughs> that was an adventure. It's always an adventure. Okay, so I'm southwest, so I'm right here. You're right here. Just southwest. Mm -hmm. Alright, and I'm getting them. See you, Quisha. Bye. Okay. Alright, be careful. Keep us updated. Huh? Keep us updated. Okay. Um in Chicago and see her family. She's I don't I think maybe she met one of her children but i think now she's going to meet all of her children because she's had more babies since then um and she wanted to go during christmas but the weather was so bad and her flight got canceled so far it doesn't look like this flight is going to be canceled even though um what is it i'm trying to think southwest southwest um flights have been canceled left and right um and so we're just hoping that you know it doesn't fall through this time. Um, my nephew was on a Delta flight and his flight was fine. Um, as far as getting out, as far as we know, nothing has changed on that. I said, we didn't really do a big gift giving Christmas, but I did get a few things from church. I did get um, some presents from my family and I got, um, oh yeah, and um, one of my nieces came by earlier before we came home for Christmas and brought, um, brought me a few gifts. Um. I may record a little bit of New Year's Day and a little bit of um, New Year's Eve. Um, because we do what's called a watch night service um, on New Year's Eve at church. And this is the first year that we've, this is the first time we've done it in the last three years because of, you know, everything that's been going on. And so we're excited about that. I don't expect that we'll have a lot of people only because it's, it's supposed to rain New Year's Eve. And once it rains, you know, our older people definitely don't come out at night and some of our young people probably won't come out. So I don't expect a a big amount of people but I'm excited just that we're getting to do it again okay I said I would share a few of the things I got for Christmas it wasn't anything big this year um, my mom gave each of us like some candy and um, which I already hate uh, foot care set my sister and her boyfriend gave us a fruit basket I think my mom's might have taken her food basket apart and I never got a picture of ours. My sister also gave me a um, vlogger um, sign to put in the back of my videos. I thought that was so cute. You guys saw the t-shirts that my daughter made for the whole family. Um, it says it's got Santa Claus on it and it says 2022 family Christmas it was a big hit with the family I have the feeling that this is going to become like a thing for us <laughs> sorry Nikki and then <laughs> my daughter gave me um, a Disney bag which I already had but like I said I just I'm just gonna keep it because you know, bags do start to ravel and go um, and start to, um, you know, around the edges and stuff. Things can happen to them. But this is a Shop Disney bag, which I love. I love this bag. It's a good size. And so I'm not mad at all. I will be um, 
using it in the future. Um, she can borrow it if she would like to for any upcoming trips. And then um, one of my church members gives me a gift every year. And she gave me this beautiful sweater. Um, I might wear this um, Christmas, New Year's Day to church. And it's, um, it's a cardigan sweater. Um, it's got the cable knit on it. It's a really pretty, pretty old, old oatmeal color, long sleeves. Um, I just gotta find something to put underneath it, but yeah, it's really pretty and I love it. Um, if I put New Year's Day and New Year's Eve um, video attached to this, I will, if I wear it, I will take a picture so you guys can see it. Um, on me but yeah it's really 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 pretty it's nice and soft yeah i'm looking forward to wearing that i almost forgot my sister's boyfriend's mom is an artist actually the whole family is like really creative um and it's funny because it fits right in with our family because we've got a lot of creatives in our family each year she gives us a painting that she's done and this year this was the one that she gave us it's like fish scales um, I really need to get some frames to put all of the artwork that she's given me over the years. Like, I keep them on a shelf because I don't want to lose them, but I really need to put them in some frames and put them up somewhere. So, yeah, that was the photo um, that she, the, this was the painting she gave us this year. Also, my mom gave us a card to IHOP. Um, for breakfast but Marcus has that in his wallet like he grabbed it as soon as he saw it because she had um, our gifts together this year so I didn't want to forget to thank mom for the Christmas gifts and for hosting us all week long so the only thing else that I got for Christmas um, we got a bunch of candy and cookies and things from people Um, and then we got cards, we got gift cards, um, we got money from family members and from from church members. Um, and um, there was, oh, and then my niece brought by a gift, um, which I is at home, so I have to show it to you when I get home, and I'll insert that clip then. So um, yeah. Um, my only Disney item was my Disney bag, which is why I didn't do a um, what I got for Christmas video on my Disney channel. So, I'm going to get started with my day. I need to figure out what I'm wearing when we go out to see family. And um, at some point, I'm going to start making breakfast. It's still a little too early. Marcus is still sleeping and my mom is still sleeping, so I don't want to disturb them. So, again, that's why I'm in my mom's closet. Um, it's becoming like the thing to do, just like sitting on my front porch and having a conversation with you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to get started with my day. And I will talk to you later. So, guys, <clears throat> this is the last of the Christmas videos. Um, it is the morning. I didn't do an ending last night. Um, but I'm getting ready. It is 7.30? Yeah, it's 7.30 in the morning. Um, it is Friday morning. I'm getting ready to go with my mom. Um, we're going to take my daughter to the airport. I've just gotten out of the shower, just washed my face, set up, dry my hair. Um, so, um, yeah. We did go to the hospital to see my cousin and his wife. Uh, she's the one that's in the hospital. So we sat with him at the hospital for quite a while and just talked and chatted. We hadn't seen him um, since the fall, I think. And um, so it was good seeing them. Just wish it was different circumstances. Uh, and then after that, we left and I went to my other cousin's house um, to see her and some of her grandchildren and her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's a shark some invention right there. Sharks are my favorite kind of food. And then we came home and I fixed um, leftovers. I thought I was going to do stir fry, but I think I'm going to do, maybe do that tonight. Not sure. But I ended up fixing um, broccoli and rice and chicken tenders. So we even got a few of those leftover. I might have one of those when I come back from dropping my daughter off. And then, um, then we just kind of sat around and chatted and watched TV and ate cake and <laughs> we didn't really didn't do a whole lot um after we came back my mom and i took out the trash um visited family and came home and pretty much just sat and i even fell asleep on the couch um and so i just went on and got up and went to bed and forgot all about closing out this video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this christmas series if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for and if you'd like to know when the next video will come out all you have to do is hit that little notification bell Ooh. all you have to do is hit that little notification bell below so until i see you the next time guys have a blessed day bye